Right, hi everyone, Nick Holland here, Sports Car Global. I've dropped by the By Coles, uh, well, catering and hospitality facility. And lo and behold, I can't find Oliver Webb, but I've bumped into Dodo and Marco. So, uh, Marco is on the chicken today, and Dodo looks to have a nice piece of steak and, and so on. And they've been kind enough to interrupt their lunch. So, um, tell us guys, we're here, here, not perfect running in the warm-up this morning, and trouble on the car. Marco. Uh, yeah, I had a warm-up, a short run, uh, because we, we found, uh, again, some, some issue some issue on the car but uh, the guys are still working on it and uh, hopefully uh, the car will get uh, in, into the grid and uh, let's see if the, the problem is fixed we are quite uh, positive good okay and from what you said earlier or, or yeah. Dominic over to you the, the team has a, a number of the engines it's just a matter of time to be able to get get a working unit in there yeah exactly as we had it uh, the problem in the warm up this morning it were quite short on time yeah. and uh, we still have the last you know emergency potential fix but we're not sure this will work we've been trying hard for the last couple of days to get it done but uh, nothing that we try it seems to work it's a uh, kind of a difficult situation for everybody everybody's under pressure uh, for sure as drivers who would like to work uh, or to drive, but um, the worst is for sure for the mechanics because they've been staying up for for nights yeah. uh, already prior to the race yeah. uh, to get to find that one solution which works, and uh, they obviously haven't, and uh, they're going into the race already quite quite tired. But um, yeah, that's how the situation is. The current one, we need to get, make the best out of it and uh, see what happens then in a race. And uh, fingers crossed. And yeah, I would be really glad for the guys if this was the solution. Yeah, uh, I mean, the worst thing possible is is you can't start the race when you, you've had all those issues already. Um, assuming we do start the race, the bike college team. Um, what what are your prospects? What do you think um, is the best thing you can achieve? Well, I think we can achieve uh, a lot of good things uh, yeah. with the with the car that we have, and of course, if we fix uh, this problem, because it's always the same problem that we're having in these days, and once we we are good with this, uh, the the car is running well, it's quite nice to drive it, it's quick. So in terms of performance, uh, we are I'm quite, quite confident we are good for the pace, uh, much better than P2s. And uh, yeah, as uh, as the my teammates shows in the qualifying, uh, the car is uh, is the fastest car, uh, LMP1 car without hybrid. Yeah. Uh, so fastest ever. Ever, yeah. LMP1 so car yeah, it's a great achievement, and it would be uh, even better to to keep this pace in the race and uh, yeah. have a clean race. Yeah, I know. I uh, chatted with Oli online, and he he was saying that in terms of an ideal lap. There was potentially another three seconds there. I, yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, maybe in the dreams. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Oli. Uh, no, I think it could have done a, a high 22, uh, definitely, but uh, not a 21. Okay. That's, that's for sure. Um, the high 22 would have been possible on a very, very good lap, uh, which is a super good lap, yeah. uh, considering that the car was doing uh, 334, 333 high last year. So it's about 10 to 12 seconds quicker, which is a great achievement for the team. But this doesn't help if the engine or the whole thing, uh, the whole collaboration uh, yeah. working between engine and chassis doesn't work. So, um, yeah, we are now concentrating on fixing this problem, uh, especially after this race. I hope we get some tasting um, before uh, before Nürburgring to, to get this all sorted. They will come up with ideas. For now, as I said, we need to concentrate on that issue. And uh, we're kind of stuck at the moment a little bit because uh, it's just two or three hours yeah. to the race. And uh, yeah, we need to make the best out of it. The car is good, I think the drivers are quite good as well, um, the team is doing a fantastic job, they, mm -hmm. the boys have been working so so hard over the last couple of weeks, especially days, yeah. and I really wish that uh, we, can, we could show a, a nice race. It is everything. Yeah, so 
everyone out there, if you're not a Bike Collins fan already, I'll just add, from my perspective, and I've gone grey watching this race, um, this team displays what Le Mans is all about. Um, they're a small team, they're a close-knit team, they're a private team, so they don't have bottomless pits of money. And they're going at it with the best equipment that they can find. Um, their mechanics are already worn out, and we haven't even started the race. Um, I was going to talk to the drivers about the heat and, and the cockpit and so on, but I think we all know, we know driving in, even with air conditioning, that how hot it is when you get out the car. So um, the, these guys are doing a marvellous job, but just imagine how the rest of the team is feeling. So chapeau to the rest of the team. Thank you. Thanks. Gentlemen, thank you. thank you for allowing me to interrupt your lunch. It was a pleasure. I it was shall a pleasure. Uh, let you get back to it and wish you all the best for the start of the race. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bonne chance. Ciao. Thanks.